Hello, good afternoon. I hope you're hydrated and doing good and feeling happy. I'm feeling very mellow today. So there won't be any screaming. There won't be any yelling. We're going we're going mellow style today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so my therapist said, go mellow. Um I don't know what I'm gonna draw. Well let's see what happens. I'm going to try to uh, keep the head kind of smallish inside inside the boundaries here. Let's see. Let's see this. Maybe some kind of some kind of scary um, <clears throat> I'm feeling Maybe this will be a scary sort of a salamander grandma, a, a demonic salamander. Demon salamanders with the face of a grandma. Grandmothers. Or is it a bat? I don't know. Does it have bat energy? Perhaps. Um, there we go. Let's see. Yes, we can do this. Thirsty little uh, dagger teeth. The dagger teeth that drink your blood. Bat boy. Who doesn't love bat boy? You know, do you know who bat boy is? Bat boy. You don't know? No. When you were growing up, you didn't have bat boy in Peru. No. Is it a cartoon or... Bat Boy was a small baby bat, a Batman, a little bat child. He was really chubby. And uh, he was very popular in the supermarkets, in the tabloids. Everybody was worried about what was going on with Bat Boy. Was it like in the. He wasn't comic? a real guy. He wasn't a real bat. It was, it's like a comic. It's a cartoon. It was just like a joke. It was a, it was a cultural phenomenon. Before, before the internet, all we did was stare at pictures of Bat Boy, and we liked it. Is this a Sacramento thing, or is it? <laughs> I wish it was only a Sacramento thing. Uh, that would make it funnier. You know which one we had in Peru it was uh, Super Cholo. Oh, you had Super Cholo. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! What was Super Cholo all about? He had a chuyo, and he would. Like, uh, the jokes were always like he had these superpowers, but they're always related to like some kind of like, uh, I don't know. What do you mean? Like, is it funny? It's, it's supposed to be, but, <laughs> but not, not very funny. Like, it's supposed to be funny, but, but not, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of that. In like, the world. like I was looking at one the other day just to remember what it was like. Oh, super solo. Yeah, and one of the one of the things that happens a lot, like like a typical thing, like uh, it's kind of what do you say, what do you say? It's like a oh yeah, they always do that. Those people they always do that. What is that called? Um, stereotyping. Yeah, stereotypes. That's what it's. Oh, about. it was like stereotyping stuff. Yeah, it's kind of stereotyping. So like the people like from the mountains, kind of like they always like. The, one of the things that people say, it's like, oh, a casita nomás. And it's like, so that means like, oh, just right over here. But then it's like fucking like miles away. <coughs> this bat. Oh, I don't. That sounds crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so like one of the jokes is like he gets a job somewhere and the guy's like, oh, can you just move this like just right over there? And he goes and moves it like fucking hella far. 
Okay. Because he has like that's his superpower. He just does whatever. <laughs> the Damn, this Peru comedy is weird. Yeah, it's, it's fucking. Yeah. yeah, this is gonna be good. That's Bat Boy. Yeah, it's sort of. Oh, this is a uh, teenage bat. Kind of reminds me of Bat the, Team. Uh, Welcome back to the airbrush part. So I'm just going to give this guy, since he's sort of a nocturnal beast, I'm going to give him a light green spray around around his, his face. A nice light green spray for my boy. Maybe I'll hit a little darker green here and there. The cool part about paper is that actually it's it's a lot more absorbent than um than like canvas with with airbrush yeah um it's a lot easier to airbrush on actually in so, my opinion so the canvas gets a little messier you think it can it can um i just think it's a little more and blue. I just think it's a little more uh, forgiving. It, it kind of absorbs the paint a little bit in a way that makes it, I don't know, it's just like a lot, it's, it's what I would consider calling more buttery. It's yeah. more buttery, okay? It's got more butter on it. <laughs> it's got yeah. more butter vibe. Uh, there we go. So I'll throw in a little blue, kind of darken up some sections. Oh yeah. Do a little neon blue for that. Shading. There's some of this nose here. Just in case I want to add a little more hairs coming down, I think I might. Sick. Okay. That's what, you know what? I'm going to darken it a little bit more. There you go. It's cool how the blue over the yellow makes it like a green. No? Yeah. Primary colors, mixing them up. Yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty good. Let's say, um, let's do a little pink here. The little gums, the teeth. Oh, this airbrush paint's a little thicker than the other stuff, so it's kind of coming out all. Uh, wait, all right. so the actual that's the actual airbrush, not the paint. No. Well, the paint's a little. Kind of depends. Sometimes you get like some some really liquidy paint. Like, I think his nose a little bit pink. That's kind of cool. Um, but like, yeah, it might be the brush that's kind of making it hard to come out. But sometimes. Uh, Sometimes it can be the paint. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is actually gonna maybe be cool. Yeah. Had some doubts. <laughs> But as I'm learning to do in life, just to kind of trust myself and trust that things will be okay. And if 
they aren't okay, it's still going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. You could, I, ju- I literally just had therapy like 20 minutes ago right before you came over to do this. Uh, so, I'm like, so I'm kind of in this like reflective place where I'm like, hmm. But it's okay. <laughs> Everybody can know that. They can know everything. I don't care. You're reflecting right now. I'm reflecting right now. That's good. This is a neon yellow. I'm kind of blasting it all. Kind of blasting it all over. Um, Just to fill in a little bit? Yeah, but I'm going to go in with the neon orange now. Hold on. For the the eyeballs, the paper wants to kind of bend. So when you put too much ink, that paper, it likes to bend the other way? Yeah. It just bends a little bit. uh, It tries to do its exercises. It's, It's stretching. Yeah. Bending. Uh, um, hold on. Okay. But yeah, so I want to hit it with this orange in the T. Oh, oh. oh, there we go. It's right here. This is the neon orange right here. Okay, and I think that is pretty good for now. Actually. Sick. <laughs> so let's go back. I'll let it dry. Okay, friends. Welcome back. We did the airbrushing. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Hey, will you turn that airbrush off for me? Oh, Thanks, yeah, bud. Um, now I'm going to take my brush and my ink, and I'm going to make a scary bat creature. Okay? So get ready for that shit. It's going to scare the hell out of you. Okay, I'm back, Jack. Back, Jack. Back, Jack. Do it again. You see a little bat coming at you in the night? In the night, I hear you calling. Scariest Batman ever told. It's coming at you. Coming at you, the Cleopatra. Hey, let me let me go like this. Schizophrenic vampires on the prowl. Coming at you like a Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher, dude. What a bummer. What did she do? She was just brutal. What does she think about all this Ukraine thing? Oh, she's dead. Mm -hmm. She's pushing up daisies, doggy. Mm -hmm. She's in Davy Jones' locker, mate. (laughs) Listen, mate. She's in Davy Jones' locker. And the other night, I was doing the live art battle thing on Lord Spew's dis- How did that go? Discord. Yeah. It was good, but um, I started to feel like, because, you know, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm just trying to plan this, um, you know, this podcast thing with Blake, right? Mm-hmm. He wants to do it. And I want to do it too, but it's weird because I start to feel nervous or scared. I'm like, I'm going to mess this up or something. And uh, 
I don't know. I just start, I start to feel like, like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to do it. I'm too scared. I don't want to mess it up. I think part of it is, I don't know. The pre- it's like it's like when I'm just kind of hanging out doing my stuff. I don't feel pressure. I just feel like, all right, this is this is what I'm doing. No, who cares? Nobody, you know, it's no big deal. But when it's like in this kind of bigger situation, I feel so much more nervous, and I feel like how I how I'm going to show up is not going to be really really like received that well. It's going to be like. This guy sucks. He's not funny. It's not good. And um, so all of a sudden I'm like, okay, how do I make myself seem funny and cool and, and interesting? And then, and, the, and then you're just not yourself. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to like abandon myself to try to like seem cool or smarter or more interesting. But it's hard when you're like in a position where you you feel like that's that's a big pull for me. The Discord shit. No, doing a doing a podcast with Blake or doing any any kind of thing like any kind of show on TV or any kind of thing like that. Like I feel a little bit like I kind of pull out of my 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 natural flow because I'm I get kind of worried. And and a lot and I and I don't know I don't know how that happens. It's just like, or I don't know what that's really from. Actually, I don't know because it's like it happens with, like when Braun asked me to do the album art for Macedon. Like I basically tried to talk him out of it. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, you know, yeah. I was like, oh, you know, there's other people who do this way better than me. I went to um, Last Gasp years ago, and they were like, "Hey, we want to do this book with you." And then when I showed up, I was I accidentally got too stoned, and then I started to try to, and then like I completely ignored that I was trying to. I was like, "Okay, we're going to talk about my book," and then we just started. Ta- I, I just was like, "Hey, we should. You should do a book about this other guy who's better." <laughs> And what um, guy was that? Matt Fox, he's oh. an artist who's been dead for decades, but I was like, did they do it? No, but they're <laughs> like, we, it sounds cool. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it actually, it'd be better for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, no, but we, <laughs> but you're alive and you can actually like tell people about your stuff. And, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. Let's, let's, let's focus. Yeah. But I remember cause I was so stoned before the meeting. And I didn't mean to get stoned. I don't make a habit of doing that. You know, I like, I try to show up like very clear headed at at all times. But I remember thinking, oh, the only thing that's going to help me get sober is if I eat a whole pizza. (laughs) And then so I went to this place (laughs) before and I was, and I was like, okay. I'm going to eat this whole fucking pizza. And then I ate this whole pizza and I was just like sick. (laughs) And I was like, fuck, now I'm super stoned. I'm really sick. And like, I don't, you know. And then, of course, I go there and and everything's fine because everybody who works there is so beautiful and wonderful. But um, or like, but like this podcast with Blake, like part of me kind of just feels like, you know, like maybe you should get somebody more cool and young and famous or something. Um, which is sort of the same thing that I said to uh um to Super Deluxe when I was doing the show, the drawing with Skinner show, is they were like I was like, Hey, let me let let's get some cooler guests. Like, you know, like more interesting guests or whatever. And they're like, oh, well, we're just sort of th- like they were really trying to make this cool like youth culture thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, 
What's a youth culture? Like internet shit, like cool shit, like cool people shit, like <laughs> contemporary things that are happening, right? <laughs> Do I look like a contemporary thing that is happening? No. What, like Storm Maybe Keep? though. Like Stormkeep? Oh, I don't know what the hell that is. It sounds like an old Nintendo game, but no, I'm saying like internet shit, like no, being on the internet, like, like the TikTok or cool shit, cool people it's shit. It's like a blackmail shit. They sold out really quick. I tried to get it and it was gone, but luckily my friend Ryan, he got me a copy. So. Oh, that's an album. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know if they, I don't know how <laughs> focused they were on black metal and, uh, but, but, but I like that you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you included that. It was cool. Um, but, uh, and I was like, hey, you know, like maybe I'm not the guy. If, if, if everything that I want to do is not what you want to do, then maybe I'm not the person that you, you want for this show. And they're like, no, we, we want you, 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 you can talk to people. You can do the actual thing, like the, the actual, like hanging out with people and talking to them. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. And it is kind of like a show with my name attached. So why don't you let me kind of like, you know, I want, I want drag Queens. I want weirdos. I want cool, interesting, funny people. I want to do, you know, and I, and I, was able to kind of get good guests. And then they were like, oh, well, nobody in the office has heard of those people. Uh, and I'm like, the people in the office are like 19 year old interns, you know, <laughs> down to, in, who are, like have to sniff pee on their way to like go intern at the, you know, in the downtown LA yeah. to go, you know, work at this place. They're basically working for, um, what's that? They're wor they're working for Spritzy Waters. <laughs> That's uh, what they're. <laughs> they're getting paid with Lacroix. They're getting paid in Lacroix, essentially. Lacroix. Yeah, Lacroix. <laughs> they're getting paid in that. But like, so I go, hey, I you know get a go get somebody cooler and younger, man. And, and they're like, no. And I'm like, well, you can't have it both ways. Like, you can't have me here doing this cool, you know, doing my best. And then ha not let me, like, ha in you know, have the show be interesting or, or uh, like, kind of more of a cult thing instead of this, like, in the moment viral bullshit, which is not true. Like, I'm never going to, you know go viral for a, my show you know it's like it was just not gonna happen so go viral like fucking covid dude <laughs> oh my yes God. exactly <laughs> go covid go 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 covid <laughs> i'm going viral like covid baby uh, but, COVID dog ball. yeah um so i don't know but so i think that like the whole thing is I'm trying to understand where I fit in, in a lot of these projects that I'm working on where I'm like, I, I, I like, I just want to make cool, fun stuff. And I don't want that to be predicated on like, if somebody's trying to sell an idea, you know, because it like turning yourself into a, like a brand or something. I just don't want to participate in any kind of objectification or dehumanization of myself or other people. And so yeah. it's, you know, it's weird. So, but like, so, you know, the thing is, is that Blake is so sweet. He's, he's been my friend for years. He's so kind. He always is like available to help me and doing a lot of things. And I think that like what happens is I go, Oh dude, like, I, I immediately go into this self-critical place where I think I'm going to mess this up. I'm not going to be funny. He's the funny one. He's the, he's the reason that people even care about this. And I'm going to mess this up for him because he actually has something to lose. And like, that's what happened. That's what goes on in my mind. That's what was happening. Well, yeah. It's in my brain, you know? Yeah. And so I have to realize like, or I have to remind myself that I'm fine. Not everything has to be extreme comedy all day, every day, <laughs> you know, like constant 
stuff. And I'm not even, that's like maybe even not even my strong suit. You know, my strong suit might even just be, um, I don't know, having an emotional connection to what people are saying or something, you know, and like maybe that's, that's where I go right. I don't know. Yeah. But it's hard, man. It's hard because I want a lot of attention and I want to be celebrated and seen, but I have a lot of shame about taking up space. It's like, it's a very weird, it's a very weird thing. Yeah. Do you feel that ever? Probably like, not. Uh, like the, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Yeah. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. <laughs> oh. What Dude. was that thing you were saying last time about it staying in your lane or some shit like that? Yeah. Well, that's that's part of it too, right? Yeah, you're just staying in your own lane, you know, and just and that's where you develop your own shit. I mean, nobody, nobody ever you know, moves forward in any kind of authentic or interesting way unless they stay in their own lane and are just true to themselves. And I think it's really hard because if you, if you grew up in a, in a, in a way of like, you're kind of trying to, um, you're like a sort of surviving, uh, traumatic sort of environment, home environment, you learn that, you know, not being yourself and kind of performing is the way to survive. Well, what happens is after a while, you kind of realize that you're really good at altering an, an outcome or changing an outcome of a, of a situation or a dynamic in your, in your life by not being yourself. Because sometimes to stay in your lane, you, you got to get off the freeway. Yeah. Okay. I can go with that. I can get with that. I like that. That's a good one. But I mean, so staying in your own lane sounds easy until you realize that the way in which you survived and got ahead in life was, you know, basically. There's going to be roadblocks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but like you know no, not true. being yourself if yeah. you're not being yourself you gotta grow and learn and shit because like that one guy <laughs> you were saying like he stayed in his lane but then he got like a totally different job or some shit afterwards who's that guy you were talking about who's that um last time i don't know uh was a comic book artist yeah 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 he like became like a fire truck guy or some shit oh or something like that i know i forgot i can't remember oh, okay no problem no problem my friend <laughs> But uh yeah, we're all we're all trying to figure it out, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like hard. It's like I don't know, like when I'm I don't know, I like I like things to be uh, slow and simple in my life and and then sometimes when they get I get opportunities that are very exciting and it's it's gives me a lot of anxiety because I'm like, okay, am I supposed to, am I supposed to, can I be myself? Am I supposed to like be fun and interesting? Am I supposed to not be funny? Am I supposed, you know, and then you just realize you're spending all this time uh, intellectualizing your experience instead of just having your experience. And so, mm -hmm. you know, so that, so you're not in your lane and, and, you know, you're abandoning yourself when you don't, you know, give yourself a little space to uh, not know, actually. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I'm trying real hard and I hope that people like me. Uh, but I don't know. I just want to do right by people that believe in me. And um, sometimes it's really scary when somebody believes in you because then you're like, oh, now I'm going to, now I have to do this thing. And I don't want to affect anybody. I don't want to affect anybody negatively if I don't do it right. Yeah. But it's all right. Things are going to be fine. So I'm staying in my own lane and I'm drawing a bat. A bat creature. Look at this guy, though, huh? He's coming up. Look at sweet. him, dude. Like not those hairs, dude. Not too shitty. Mm. Not shitty today. 
Um, let me see. I love bats, dude. Bats are cool. I oh, think. Yeah. I think I'm gonna um, do another color in these eyes though, and like, and airbrush it a little bit. Let me see. Sick. Um, what, what, where, where are you gonna take your next date? Where's your next date gonna be at, Mark? Want to talk date stuff? I'm just gonna go straight from work to her house. And then you're gonna go to uh, the zoo. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I get off work at six and then we'll see. I'm gonna see actually Immolation is playing, but she works hella early the next day, so I don't know. I don't think she wants to do that. Immolation. Plus we're going to priest like next week or something. Oh dude. You That's, got ticks? I want to. They're like a hundred bucks. Oh really? Yeah. Your painkiller this is yeah, she invited me. Oh, yeah. dude, how do you like that now that somebody can see you in your rock and roll form that you always want? <laughs> you always want yeah, to see. It's, it's always nice to get a girlfriend who doesn't hate your um, your heavy metal clothes. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. I dress like I. I basically am like. Oh, do, do I dress like an old, like I'm like an old guy who's ready to play basketball at any moment. <laughs> That's my whole aesthetic. Sick. Oh, yeah. You got to have your basketball shoes just in case somebody challenges you to a game of hoops. If they want to challenge me, they're going downtown. <laughs> they're going down. Why don't you do a show playing ball with Skinner? Oh, do you want to come... Do you want to come film it? Sure. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Everybody's going to be very excited about when I make a point, when I shoot the hoop. Oh, yeah. I can, shot the hoop. And can then you I, do a slam dunk? Oh, yeah. I dunk all over everybody out there. <laughs> no. Sick. No, but it was funny as um, I go play it. I, I was playing at Kevin Durant Park, and there was these kids, and I would play late. I go over there kind of late. These kids come over. They're like, hey, man, let me talk to you for a second. I was like, oh, no, these teenagers are going to beat me up. <laughs> and then and they go, hey, well, let me ask you a question. And then they started asking me all this, like, dating advice. Oh. Like these <laughs> kids. They were like these Eritrean kids. Oh. And I was like, what? Oh, I don't know if the kind of advice I have is the kind that you guys would want. They're like, nah, man, tell me, man, because I'm heartbroken over this girl and all this stuff. And I was like, this is very interesting to be having this conversation with kids. Like um, like a heartbroken teenager asking for advice from some old guy at the basketball court. I was like, it's pretty funny shit. <laughs> and I was like, well, you just have to make your intentions be known. He's like... She likes other dudes and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, well, that, you know, well, you got to win her over and all this stuff. And then the guy's friend was like, I told him, man, uh, he, he said something amazing. He's like, her inability or her inability to fulfill uh, or reciprocate your advances is, is, is going to become really negative in the relationship or something. He said something like really smart. And I was like, dude, listen to him. Don't listen to me. Um, and I was like, first things first, stop looking at her Instagram. If you don't want to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> if you see it. <laughs> what did he say to that? He's like, oh, I already look at it all the time, man. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, you live your life. Go on and live. Kids yeah. these days, they can just look at their crush on Instagram all day. I know. That's kind of weird, That's huh? Crazy. You could just obsess like a little psycho. <laughs> just be like, I like her so much, man. When I was in high school, I just had to imagine... Use the imagination. Yeah. I, I had to, <laughs> when I was in high school, I was imagining what my girlfriend was going to look like. <laughs> I was like, I wonder what she's going to look like. No, but it is funny. I'm so glad that the internet wasn't around when I was in high school. I mean, it would be like cringe fest, dude. It would be super cringe. I'm, I'm so glad. I am not there, dude. 
old skinny ain't doing no cringe these days or back in the day i'm not my life is non-stop cringe but you know it's because it's like i look back on my life you know being 20 being a teenager and i just think holy shit i'm i'm just hoping that nobody remembers me <laughs> just nobody your art teacher remembered you oh yeah <laughs> yeah he's cool huh yeah he's right nice I want to go see him. So, did you meet Rob Halford? Yeah. Oh. I met him, shook I didn't his hand. Get to that part. I still need to didn't. listen to the whole thing. I just skipped over a couple That's of okay. Parts. Yeah, I got to meet him. And, um, yeah, he's really nice. Um, hey, he was sweet. He's really cool. That's right. I mean, you know. He's like sincerely maybe the most, maybe the greatest rock vocalist of all time. Yeah. Straight up. Who's better? Nobody. Who's better than you, Rob Halford? Who's better than you? Who's better than you? <laughs> Who do you think? Who do you think's better than Rob Halford? Um, Millie Vanilli. <laughs> you got a point, bud. You got a point. <laughs> Just kidding. Milli Vanilli. <laughs> Did you guys have Milli Vanilli in Peru? No, but I remember that they were like the ADAP that he was using to sing over got like, or DAP tape, like it got like spun out of control one time live. So, and it was all like voiceover. Wasn't that what happened? Wasn't that that guy? Or is that someone else? Dude, that'd be so funny. It's like he, they got, they got uh, exposed yeah. live on stage. Yeah. Brutal, dude. Yeah, one of those guys like, killed himself he's like oh, too bummed yeah did they show like they showed the Millie vanilli singers too it's this like <laughs> it's like crazy because it's just like these regular looking people <laughs> they're like just regular oh like, the real like, singers, yeah like yeah. not skinny just yeah. regular like not skinny models yeah <laughs> you know just sort of regular people singing the song but god forbid a regular person you know is celebrated for uh for their talents it's got to be some weird motherfucking look some some like young beautiful person or something <laughs> that was so crazy about prince is that prince um wrote so many songs yeah that were hits for other people oh really did yeah. you write some of the Millie vanilla shit no, dude. I don't think Prince would participate in that. <laughs> honestly, I don't think he'd be like. They'd have to pay him a lot, but he has so much pride. Yeah. Well, Prince, the person. I don't even know if Prince really. I don't even know what Prince if Prince went by he or not or di or didn't, and then became like really religious or something. I don't know. But anyway, I, I see Prince as more of a they. But um, that's because... The guy from Queen has an incredible voice, too, though. From Queen? Yeah. Queensryche? No. I'm just kidding. I know. I know. Freddie Mercury. Yeah, Freddie Mercury. That's what I was thinking. Of. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I have a feeling that uh, Rob Halford is just a really cool, sweet person. Just as intentional kind doesn't take themselves all serious yeah i listen to these you know youtube shows that are like it's they're v really funny like little dives into stuff um like rock and roll stuff mm -hmm. you know stuff like um you know uh the the black crows blues traveler feud what happened and then it's like this guy basically does a mini documentary about it and then the one that I saw the other day was like Sebastian Bach was insane or something, you know? And then, uh, and then it was just like stories about how crazy he was and like how annoying he was as a person. <laughs> anyway, Sebastian, like that guy from the eighties, right? Yeah. 18 in life to go. Look at this dude. Got a kind of a Don Knotts vibe going. <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah, it's it's like a cross between Don Knotts, a bat, and the guy from uh 
from that sh TV show that it's like that he presents like the horror movies a little bit. Oh, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember. Hey, man! <laughs> Put some of these. Hey, it's me, um, ghoul, the ghoul man. <laughs> okay, let me, um. Oh yeah, that's pretty dope. Well, part of me wonders if I should just paint these entire things blue or something and then airbrush on them so they're just like spooky orbs. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I won't tell you what I'm gonna do here, yeah, buddy. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna color these in aqua blue. It's an aqua blue. Yeah, uh, print songs. He wrote Manic Monday. You know that song? No. Just another manic Monday. I wish it was Sunday. That's my fun day. <laughs> you don't know that song? No, I don't Are know. you serious? The Bangles? Oh, really? Yeah, dude. You know so so funny. My mom, my mom's there's this like really cool neighbor woman when I was growing up named Melissa. Yeah. And she's all Do you want to when I was like maybe 10, I was like, "Oh, I like the Bangles. I I like tapes." I was like, "I want more tapes." And she goes, oh, I have a tape for you. I have the Bengals. <laughs> and then she gave me the Bengals tape. I had a Eurythmics tape. I had a Stray Cats tape. And um, and then she gave me the Bengals tape. But inside the Bengals tape case, there was a little bit of weed inside. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's that stuff. That's that stuff that people smoke. <laughs> I remember like Did you smoke it? I remember not telling my mom. No, I was ten. Uh -huh. I put it up my ass. Oh. No, I'm, no, I'm just kidding, Mark. I didn't. That's what I like about you, Mark. I could tell you anything. <laughs> you believe me. Mark believes in me. <laughs> <laughs> that looks funny, huh? Yeah. All right, look at this. Way, way, cooked out, way wacky, far out, zany, moon doggies. What are you going to do when the moon doggy goes wild on you? Um. Okay. Well, so I'm going to go airbrush these eyeballs real quick and I'll be right back. Hello, welcome back to the airbrush unit. So you're going in with some white in there. On top of the blue. Just to add some highlight, huh? Just to give the eyes a little, uh, a little more of a... See that? Yeah. And then I can... Dive all the little bit with white. But you know, I think what I should do actually is hit it with some some pink I would use neon neon red I don't know if I have it ne next to me but this would be good Pop those googly eyes, buddy. Nice. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. And then you can. Okay, we'll go back over here and we'll finish it. Are you gonna let it dry for a second or? Oh yeah, we can let it dry. We're back. I'm fitting to hit these eyes real quick. 
Oops, this brush is not too good. Here. Fitting to hit those eyes real quick. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. All right. So what do you know about like this bear? Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank, yeah, what do you know about him? He's a hero. <laughs> a snack hero. <laughs> he would only, he's only eating snacks and human stuff because he of humans. Yeah. You know, it's not his fault. <laughs> there was a... Um, Years and years and years ago, there was this this kid who was on the run, and he would steal airplanes, and really? he would crash them, and he'd escape, and all this. Just like kid, yeah, in California. Wow, what kind of? Airplanes? I think it was in California, small ones. And I was just like, dude, this guy's a hero. So like every once in a while, some somebody comes along that. I'm just like, oh, this person's a total hero. And Hank, the, Hank the Tank is one. <laughs> Hank the Tank. He's big. Mm -hmm. You know what happened, I'm pretty sure, is that he, uh, is that Hank was like, well, I'm gonna, you know, I gotta go, I gotta hibernate. So I gotta, you know, pack on the pounds while I'm hibernating. And then... So he probably get found some human food and was like, oh, wait a second. I could eat this stuff. And so, you know, he finds the, the human food. It's not his fault. He found it. Yeah. It's like humans are there. God, this is not going well here. What, the yellow? Yeah, it's okay. It's just, it's mixing with... Like a little black ink? It's, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to figure this out. Um, Here, I'm going to go turn off the air thing. Okay. Hello, fellow children. I had this cool artist I wanted to interview. She does these insane sculptures, and she had and she keeps ants. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, I, want, I had a lot of questions about ants, but I I, I can't f I forget I forget her name because I only you know that's what's kind of messed up about Instagram handles is that like I only I can't it's like hard to remember that. The um who people are from their hand, their Instagram. Yeah. So I'm like kind of waiting until she posts something so that I can be like, hey, hey, it's me. Yeah. Let's yeah, do this. Just show up on your feet and then. Yeah, but I want to interview this cool folk horror artist too, Katie Horan. 
she goes by Goody Horn on um, on Instagram. She's so funny and, and interesting. Um, what are some artists that people have been hitting you up to to interview? Well, sometimes people just go, "Hey, how do I get on this show?" <laughs> I'm like, "Well, it's not really a show," and like, also, I just kind of, I don't know, I just sort of. I, I think in a way I, I just go, oh, this this feels like a good fit right now. Yeah. You know, it has no rhyme or reason at all. Yeah. It's just sort of like, oh, th this seems cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. I like... The highlight of my life, Mark. The high life. <laughs> Miller High Life. Welcome to the Miller High Life <laughs> volleyball party. Spuds McKenzie is going to host. Do you know who Spuds McKenzie is? Yeah, of course. Dude. The famous dog. Yeah, my sister had a poster. Uh, Spuds McKenzie? Yeah. Back then, everybody's like, alcoholism is fun if you make it about a dog. Yeah. Spuds McKenzie. What was he, Bud Light? He's a Bud Light guy. I think so. Budweiser? Budweiser, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Spuds McKenzie. My sister, she would listen to Bob Marley by the pool with her friends, and they would use beer to dye their hair up to make it, like, blonde and stuff. Really? Yeah. That's, Maybe they were drinking it, though. Maybe it was like an excuse to drink beer. I'm feeling like maybe it was, dude. Your parents are like, oh, yeah, go ahead and dye your hair with the beer. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah, but but this uh, but Katie, yeah, this artist Katie, dude, she does this like creepy folk art, like witch witchy folk art. It's really good. I'm gonna go see that, dude. You should well, take you should out. take uh, Caroline on a date. We're, I'm going to see uh, this silent this spooky silent film called The One Handed Witch. I posted about it last night. The one hand away. Yeah, it looks crazy. I don't see if she wants to go. Sat I'm going Saturday night. Here in Oakland. You're just burping up a storm over there, huh, dog? Yeah, I drink it. It's like a sweet little baby getting burped by God. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, drinking this three percent beer. So this is starting to feel kinda good, like this might be let me see if there's oh yeah down here a little bit okay dude when i was having the elect when the electricians were down here helping me with stuff they were like drinking beers yeah at, like like noon <laughs> I was like, whoa, what's going on? They're like, oh, I'm just having some sodas, some road sodas, buddy. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh, okay. I hope the electricity works when you're done. So, yeah, it seems to work pretty good. You got three prong? Uh, yeah, I got three prong shit. Yeah. Better than my house. Road, two prong. Road. Two prong over there. I got the road soda in a fig, bud. All right. Well, I'm. look at that. The light's coming through, huh? Well, I feel like this is a pretty good... Uh, tripped out subterranean um what is it is it a, a, a subterranean mutant does he need any does he need any veins in his eyeballs i feel like maybe not here a little bit what color are you gonna do the vein let me see god i feel like there's some dust down here or something i feel allergic i'm sniffling I'm sniffling like crazy. Allergy. Um, I see. Um, could do a little. I 
Oh yeah, that's funny. <laughs> these are just these are a little a little intense, but still cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. That's that's my uh, bat boy for today. Bat boy or rat boy? Or oh, rat boy. That's rat boy. That was my old gang member name, Rat Boy. Really? No, but um, there was a that surfer cool. in the eighties that his name was Rat Boy too. Rat Boy, the number one surfer. He knows how to do all the rat spins and such. <laughs> Anyways, I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a good day. I hope that things go your way and that you maintain positivity and within your sphere, your realm of your sphere of uh, influence. That's all we can do while the world is insane. You just got to show up really positively in any way that you can and fight the, the dread and the despair of it all. Okay? I love you. Talk to you later. Peace. Peace out.